Welcome to my channel, Ken here. I have the Bogner Pandora XTC or Ecstasy in here, a journey through the Ecstasy lineup plus new stuff. Let's go. So I got a chance to try this Bogner Pandora. It's actually a journey through the ecstasy history. So I guess 25, 30 years ago, the first one came out. And then uh, there were several iterations of it, the 100, the 101, and now this uh, Pandora. There are new features on this. It's not just various iterations of the um, vintage and the uh, several versions of it. It's a three channel amp, 100 watt EL34s. It has a bunch of switches on the front and a couple of switches on the back. Now, uh, in order to um, go through these various iterations, like the 101, the 100, the, the, uh, I guess they call it the classic, um, the, you have to flip these switches. So, the channel one, which is the clean channel, has its own uh, tone stack, but channel two on the right has two modes, blue and red, and they share the, the, the tone controls. Uh, there are some switches they share as well. So there's a, quite a few things to go through here on this amp. If you look over here to the right, right here, there's a uh, input uh, 101 uh, uh, and flipping it to the right, it'll be a classic input mode. Now, this is subtle stuff, so let me just go over that for a second. That's in the 101 and classic. Channel uh, 3. So that, to me, there is a difference. Just as an overview, I'll put it back on 101 here. It's a little bit brighter, I think. The, um, the back switches, there are two switches on the back. The first one uh, over to 
this side is a vintage classic and 101. So the middle position would be vintage and uh, the right position would be classic and uh, 101 to the left. The other switch is uh, 101, 100 and byte. Uh, right now it's set to byte and 101. And unfortunately I can't show it uh, because it's pretty tight against the wall there. <laughs> I will switch that over to from byte to 101. So 101 on the back. And with the boost. And the boost is in the amp. No pedals in front right now. I'm going to switch that switch back to, uh, let's see here, vin um, 100. So here's the 100 mode. It's, I think it's getting less and less gainy. And with the boost. I'm gonna put it back on the bite mode. Right now, this is what it sounds like with the 101 mode. Here's the same setting, same red channel, everything, but in the vintage mode. With the boost. So warmer and less gain. And finally, the classic mode. Clearly more gain. Here's it, the red channel. With boost. Clearly this amp is nice and thick and rich. Much appreciated actually. Now I'm gonna put it back on 101. So here on the front panel here, let's just uh, keep looking at this red channel. Um, there's a plexi switch. There's a structure, low and high. There's a gain boost for the uh, channels. Two switches for bright caps. Here's the thing about the plexi mode, which I'm gonna flip over to here. Here it is. In, in the, we're on channel three right now. So here it is. And I'm gonna switch this channel over to Plexi. And the same thing happens to the blue channel. The blue channel and the red channel are not quite voiced the same way, but we'll get to that later. But back to here. Um, structure low and high. Now, a couple of things about the pedal board here. Uh, it has a switch for the channels, of course, channel selection, and for the loop, and f interestingly enough, for a um, standby switch, uh, basically mutes the output, but it doesn't put it into standby, just be called mute, actually. But they're a boost for both the clean channel and then the combined three and two and three and of course engaging the loop, which I'm not doing right now. But here's the thing, with this boost, and I'm gonna kick it in. Um, that actually doesn't work when you're in plexi mode. So here's the plexi mode. I'm gonna engage the boost. No difference, right? So it doesn't work for that. And um, the other thing is if you put this to low here, structure. The boost actually becomes a little more active, I think. Boost 
most engaged. <laughs> Flavor though it's a single chord. It's it's really obvious on the clean channel here, the, the bright switches, so here in neutral. switch number one and bright switch number two okay on the on this channel right now I have the boost engaged and now it's disengaged engaged uh, extremely nice clean channel like if it is one of the nicest clean channels actually I've heard all right back to the blue channel here I'm not going to go into too much with this plexi mode because I feel like on this amp it's by using the gain you can kind of get there um, and I'll show you why. So if I flip it over to plexi mode here on channel 2. It's almost clean right? But doesn't sound as good as the clean channel. So let's crank up the gain all the way. Now, get it out of the plexi mode here, and then turn down the gain. Find that to be a more usable uh, plexi tone. And this is with the boost engaged. As you turn up the gain, let me get rid of that boost. And then kick in the, the boost. So this blue channel, and the same goes for the red channel, even though they're not voiced the same, all the way from slight breakup to full on metal. Very, very usable. Uh, it's such a wide range on that gain knob. Um, to too much the tone stack because as typical with Bogner is that they're extremely effective and you know, you got to play with, with it to get the tone. Right now, I just basically set them to approximately one o'clock just to keep it consistent. But you can see if I switch over, uh, let's set the red channel and the blue channel the same. So to me, the, of course, the channel three has more gain, but it still has a little bit of a thicker sound to it. This is very interesting. Uh, just like with the Ultra, you have the frequency uh, presence where the working range is. So we'll set it to 101 here. Actually, uh, he calls it SB. Uh, 
And the next is the depth frequency. So I guess M stands for medium. I'm kind of thinking that. Anyway, 101 and then big. Right now it's set to 101. <laughs> Okay, so on the Schizo channel here, <laughs> it's uh, TF 101 and Classic. Um, right now it's set on 101, I'll flip through them. Uh, subtle stuff. Let's go through the blue channel here. And then here. Okay, just want to go through a couple really quick tone control things. As far as I'm concerned, it's easy to use boosts on it, so let me just do that very quickly. I'm going to take off the boost on the amp itself in the red mode. I'll add a 808. Without. Thanks for watching. So it's a journey through Bogner Ecstasy's lineup over the years. Uh, the Pandora with tons of flexibility. You got to custom order this one. Uh, you can't just send an older one in for modifications. So if this is the kind of sound you want, uh, singing leads, lush, rich, rich tones, uh, and superb clean channel, 50 watt switch to 100 watt switch and a very good effects loop from the lowest gain settings. As far as I'm concerned, it can be pretty much used for anything. Yeah, you can do it all. And you just have to learn how to, to balance the, um, the power amp section with the tone knobs and the tone knobs are extremely effective. This is an excellent amp. If it wasn't for the Ultra, until next time, please like, share and subscribe. 
Take care.